Can you see without light? Can you breathe without air? Can your body lie without soul? So that the human cannot live without religion, without the thing that guide him to the right way. It is a set of beliefs and practices generally held by a number of people. A way to live a good life full with faith. When religion meets the need of the instinct. Religion meets the urgent needs inside the human. It answers common questions such as Where I come from? To where is the determination? And why? And from the psychological way the religion is the call of the instinct. فَأَقِمْ وَجَهَكَ لِلدِّينِ حَنِيفًا فِطْرَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي فَطَرَ النَّاسَ عَلَيْهَا لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِخَلْقِ اللَّهِ ذَلِكَ الدِّينُ الْقَيِّمُ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ This instinct is inherent on belief in the great God, the one who is the refuge of hearts. This faith and believes, full the empty of instinct. Religion is the supplement and feeding of soul. It sends and spreads the reassurance and self-comfort especially after doing a worship action. To feel that God is satisfied with you, this motivates you to do goodness. The religious scruples role in individual and society life. Being afraid of the governor, judge punishment, or people's supervision is not enough to achieve the commitment of manners and legislation. Why? Simply, a person can keep themselves away and isolated from them and their inspection. Hence, the religious scruples that a person feel of the permanent and comprehensive supervision of God, is the way to achieve the commitment of manners and keep him away from doing bad things. It's the one that Allah sends it with his messengers, where there are no myths and legends. The religion of pure monotheism where no polytheism and idols. The religion of full legislation which is perfect and valid to apply it everywhere and anywhere. The one that connects Muslims together and let them cooperate in difficulty and pleasure. Ensure to spread justice, equality, morals, and fights the injustice and corruption. Honoring the individual and safeguard the interests of the group. The religion that doesn't conflict with the modern science. One thousand four hundred years ago, when the world was immersed in darkness, the Quran was revealed, which brought light to a beleaguered world. And whereas the earlier books came with many scientific mistakes due to the hand of man having delved into them, the Quran had none of these contradictions. The world thought there could be no reconciliation between religion and science. But the Quran mentioned many scientific facts in great detail, like how a human being developed in the mother's womb and described other scientific facts which amaze the world's renowned scientists and scientific community. Such was the impact of these revelations that the first Islamic medical conference was held at the Arab League building, Cairo, Egypt, on the 26th of September, 1985. As far as it is known from the history of embryology, little was known about the staging and classification of human embryos until the 20th century. For this reason, 
the descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th, 7th century. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God. He could not have known such details because he was an illiterate man with absolutely, absolutely no scientific training. It is the religion of humanity from Adam, Noah, Ibrahim and Mosa and Jesus to Muhammad, peace be upon him. Human needs roles and morals to organize his life, and set up his behavior to be differentiated from other animals. So people either they live without a religion organizes their lives and sets up their behavior, or either they have a person to prescribe a religion which probably wrong one, or they be on the true religion which bring them evidence and guidance so that they will get along with their instinct. So, if they choose the first one, they will live in a mess where the stronger will eat the weak. And the difference between them and animals is going to be only the shape and body. As long as they choose the second choice, they choose to worship a range of humans slash people who overpowers them and make them suffer the hardest torment. And nothing left than invoke to the true religion taking the legislations, show them which is the right, Hilal to do it and take it, tell them which is the wrong, haram, to avoid it. And here is the happiness summit where no true happiness for human is more than following the religion favored by God for his slaves. فَلَن يُقْبَلَ مِنْهُ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Human feels with weakness in the front of some aspects of the universe such as winds, stormy seas, earthquakes and volcanoes whatever a great power he has, he will remain feeble to these aspects that God plagued selves. It is here how great man's need to turn to God and trust Him. In addition, godless people live a miserable life, even though they enjoy the pleasure of the world, but they have something missing in their lives and souls, which is faith and belief in God. They are always fluctuating in darkness of doubt and psychological wandering, so they get an empty hall in their souls leading them to kill themselves and end their lives. Allah said, <laughs> A group of interpreters said in the taxir, Allah drove Adam's progeny from his back, and ordered them to worship him and so he took them a charter, even they have forgotten story of taken but the truth remains inside them, and that what Quran expresses it as instinct. From Messenger of Allah, 
said, every child is born on instinct. In Sahih Muslim, from Ayyib bin Himmer, that messenger of Allah said, Allah said, I created my slaves all of them are not polytheists, and devils took them away from their religion, and ordered them to polytheist with me what I had not sent an order, 